while students tend to understand conceptually longitude and latitude, where I tend to encounter confusion is in the actual written form of the coordinates themselves. So let's take a look at how we do that. There are two major forms of latitude and longitude coordinates. The first we refer to as DMS, which stands for degrees, minutes, and seconds. You'll recall from an earlier video that latitude ranges from zero degrees to 90 degrees at each pole, and longitude ranges from zero degrees at the prime meridian to 180 degrees on the opposite side of the planet. When measuring in degrees, you need to also understand the subdivisions of a degree. There are 60 minutes in one degree, and there are 60 seconds in one minute. Therefore, a half of a degree is 30 minutes, a half of a minute is 30 seconds. When we write DMS coordinates, there are some important things for you to keep in mind. First of all, latitude is listed before longitude. We indicate direction by using letters. So we use N or S for latitudes that are north or south of the equator, and E or W for longitudes that are east or west of the prime meridian. You can see the symbols that are used. The degree symbol obviously is used for degrees. Minutes is a single stroke and seconds is a double stroke. I want to point something out about this though that is an issue that's created by word processing software. For example, in Microsoft Word, the default is for the software to convert single quotes and double quotes to what we call smart quotes, which are the curled version of the single stroke and the double stroke. These are not minutes and seconds. The symbols for minutes and seconds are the straight line single and double quote. You may have to turn off smart quotes if you're typing these things in Microsoft Word. The first way of defining position is DMS. The second way is decimal degrees or DD. There are some differences between decimal degrees and DMS. First of all, longitude is listed before latitude in this. So this is the opposite of DMS. We do not use letters to indicate what hemisphere a position is in. We use positive or negative numbers. For latitude, locations south of the equator are assigned negative values. For longitude, locations west of the prime meridian are assigned negative values. And only the degree symbol is used. One thing that's handy for you to know about decimal degrees is that if you are dealing with coordinate positions in the Western Hemisphere, like the United States and Mexico and Canada and South America, that longitude values are going to be negative. If you have a decimal degree longitude position that say is in the middle of the continental United States and you forget to use the negative sign, you'll end up mapping that position most likely in China. One of the reasons for two methods of displaying coordinates is that computer software does much better when it has coordinate positions in decimals rather than three separate values for degrees, minutes, and seconds. As we saw with Cartesian coordinates, positive and negative values are easy to deal with as well. So let's look at converting DMS coordinate position to decimal degrees. Here we have the McDonough County Courthouse located in Western Illinois. The process of converting DMS to decimal degrees is this. A decimal degree is the degrees plus the minutes divided by 60 plus the seconds divided by 3600. Why? Because there are 60 seconds in a minute and if there's 60 minutes in a degree, then 60 times 60 is 3600. The coordinate position for the courthouse is 40 degrees, 27 minutes, 31.68 seconds north, 90 degrees, 40 minutes, and 16.32 seconds west. So let's convert this to decimal degrees. We'll start with latitude. 
decimal degrees is our degrees of our position plus minutes divided by 60 plus seconds divided by 3600 which is 40, 27 divided by 60, 31.69 divided by 3600, which gives us 40 plus 0.45 plus 0 0.0088. The latitude for the courthouse is going to be 40.4588. Because we are in the Northern Hemisphere, the value is positive. We'll do the longitude the same way, so 90, plus 40 minutes divided by 60, plus 16.32 seconds divided by 3600, which gives us 90 plus 0.67 plus 0.0012. So the longitude position for the courthouse is 90.6712 degrees. Because the courthouse is in the Western Hemisphere, it has a negative value. So here they are next to each other. In DMS, we have latitude first, 40 degrees, 27 minutes, 31.68 seconds north, 90 degrees, 40 minutes, 16.32 seconds west. In decimal degrees, we do longitude first, so it's minus 90.6712, and then the latitude, 40.4588. Another thing that's useful to do is understand the relationship between longitude and time, which I will address in the next video.